Would you like to sum up, Dr. Munson? I must say, I concur with the diagnosis. I also concur that immediate surgery is indicated. That's what I hope it's suggest, Dr. Well, that's where Dr. Cardwell and I are part company to some degree. Who feels there's a reasonable hope? I'm afraid I don't. But you both agree that the alternative is to just do nothing. Without surgery, there isn't a chance. But the patient should be made aware of that alternative, especially considering that uh, chances aren't good anyway. William, I'm going to talk to Joe. And I think you should be there. So, uh, shall we go up now? Thank you. 
I mean, I'm going to rate my chances if both the great men were to. So, your chances are excellent. They always have been. Uh, I mean, uh, down the road. Well, what, uh, 20%, 30%? Kind of like a trial period in that. Well, 
physical of course just bring to us. For instance, the night that Kevin came back to us. Joe was out drinking. He was drunk in a bar. And he got into a fight and was knocked down and he ended up with a concussion. Now, could that concussion have caused the brain tumor? No. No, you see they're unrelated. A tumor is a growth. A concussion would have absolutely nothing to do with it. Then, damn it, why? I will not believe that fate is that unkind to us, because if it can be that unkind, then the next step is to take his life. Vicky, look, one has nothing to do with the other. Not at all. You know? No. This past year, Joe and I have done nothing but fight and have one bad time after another. We've had no time to be together just to be happy. Right? But it has nothing to do with, with a conflict in your basic natures, and, and it's not because the two of you don't love each other. It is just because of circumstances. Yes, but circumstances seem to be running our lives. Peter, I'm not ready to lose, Joe. <laughs>
No, Jordan, I'm not.
start sitting around talking anyway. I think I'd like a drink. Oh, I'll have you sherry. It's okay. All right, I'll join you. You know something, Kathy? I really think you're going to be very happy here. Well, I hope so. Of course, to get happy living by yourself, you've got to like yourself. I'm not too sure about that yet. Oh, come on. You're fine now. Everybody thinks so. Everybody? Well, you know, Karen better than I do, but no matter what she says, I get the feeling she doesn't trust me. No, well, don't worry about her. Karen just takes a little getting used to, that's all. Come on, let's make a toast. The two of us and how far we both come. Well, I'll trick you that. I see, the first time we met, you just started working at Tony's, and I was the boss's wife. Yeah. That's when I first met Brad, and the ruler flipped out over him. You know something, Kathy? I still haven't flipped out over him. I am madly in love. Only this time, it's in a different way. Madly in love? <laughs> Sounds pretty strong. <laughs> About as strong as you can get. Are you happy? Oh, boy, <laughs> am I. Well, things must be very different from the last time you were together. Well, last time we weren't really together. You know that. But, uh, it is more or less you think. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking about. But, uh, now we are together. In every sense of the word. I'm a person, too. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I made it clear. When the word got seeing me again, that I'm a different woman now. That I have a lot of respect for myself now. And you just better understand that. I just have respect for yourself. It's the beginning of getting it from others. Sure it is. Now we have a wonderful relationship. What's the matter? Don't you believe me? Oh, I know what you were wondering. Jenny Siegel, right? Right. Listen, don't worry about it. They're just friends. Why shouldn't they be? Oh, I agree. I, I, I mean, uh, you see this sometimes. But uh, this doesn't bother me. I mean, I probably love me. We still want to go to the movies or something. I don't care. Because I know that before the night is over, they'll come back to me. And I'm glad to see you so confident. Feels <laughs> good, too. Forgive me, will you? Uh, I've had such rotten luck with the men I've chosen that sometimes I forget it can actually work out for them. I wish somebody would call about Joe. Mm -hmm.